Okay, Frankie's up. He says, I have everything set up in terms of purchased, in terms of purchased all the tools and have created my own SAP for how to run my own video carpet bomb style type of campaigns. My question is, it really caught on. My question is, should I be targeting local cities and do rank and rent, or should I go after affiliate campaigns and target those keywords? It's a really good question. With this setup I, I have, I can publish 1,000 videos easily over a small period of time. Which would you suggest to start getting some results fast? Thanks as always for Humpkin Hangouts. Well, that's up to you, Frankie. I, I would recommend if if affiliate marketing is what you're interested in, then go to do affiliate marketing. If local marketing and lead generation is your thing, is, is what you have more of an interest in, then do that. But either way, choose one and stick with it until you monetize it. Because my point is like, if, if you are, I don't know what your business goals are. But I, I, I remember you've asked some other questions in the past though on Hump Day Hangouts. And I think your questions were more targeted about local marketing consulting, like as a video guy. Um, and if that's the case, then I would recommend you avoid the affiliate route for now, because all it's gonna do is distract you and it's going to slow you down from being able to perfect your specific video marketing uh, method, uh, you know, for, for lead generation or for, rank and rent or whatever it is, however you decide that you're going to monetize it. Guys, we have, we as a semantic mastery as a group has struggled with not folk, not being able to focus or chasing too many different opportunities. And so we've, uh, you know, that's part of, that's going to be a lot of our messaging going forward is we have decided to really focus in on what our core offer should be in our core service. Right. And we recommend you guys do the same. And even for our agent, like my own agency that I'm building, it's the same thing. I've reverted all the way back to just doing the kind of the, the, the lead gen model where we build the asset first and then we find the, the service provider or the client. And, and again, you're going to see a common theme among all of our training going forward. And that is we're going to tell you find one, one thing and don't give up on that one thing until you've monetized it. Don't start any other projects. Don't chase any new opportunities until you've mastered that one or at least got the one profitable to where it's generating revenue and to where you can remove yourself from that process and it continues to generate revenue. Yep. Right. So, for example, even if you went after uh, lead gen, uh, let's just say affiliate marketing with these videos and you got it to where it was profitable, but you were running the campaigns. You were the one doing the research, finding the products that you were going to promote. Uh, generating the keyword list, create, creating the videos, uploading them, running the, running the video, um, probably marketing blitz or whatever tool it is that you're running, running that campaign. You could do all that and end up having a profitable affiliate marketing business and then say, okay, well now it's profitable. Well, let me go ahead and move on to doing local lead gen with this, with these videos as well. But unless you have processized or systematized that with the affiliate and all the work that you put in to make an affiliate campaign profitable, you shouldn't even move on to that. In other words, even though if that, that might have money be, be producing positive revenue for you until you removed yourself from the process and it still generates revenue for you, you shouldn't move on to the next because otherwise you end up bogging yourself down to where, okay, now you're doing all this work and now you got to do all this work too. And at some point you're going to reach a point of diminishing return mm -hmm. and you're going to not be able, you're going to hit a, a capacity, a limit where you won't be able to make any more money. And if you would have been able to remove yourself from that first process that you made profitable when you were doing the work yourself and still keep it profitable, now you've got revenue coming in so that you can devote all your time to the next process that you want to, you want to perfect. Yep, so. I do agree. And um, yeah, I mean, we all go through this, right? We, we as a group, and then we had that that, that exact same issue on you know with, with the people that came to the Pofu Live event, the fact that you know they were making money they were feeling that they were too distracted and that's completely fine. Like you're, you're definitely not alone in that regard. That's correct. We've been there. Everyone goes through that because the reality is that we are as entrepreneurs. We want to fix stuff and we, you know, we see a service in, uh, as an opportunity. So I totally agree with Bradley building a successful business. You know, once the initial rush or the initial high were off, uh, it's it's hard because of the fact that you need to keep at it even when you are not as excited mm -hmm. with that pro with that project anymore, and then everything else seems so exciting to go ahead and tinker with. But I think that the the key to success here and the key to actually building businesses that are really profitable is just what Bradley described: like go at it, whatever it takes you, make it profitable, remove yourself from the equation, and then go go to the next go to thing. your next opportunity. Yeah. I mean, guys, that's the only way to do it. Uh, my own, even in my own business, I, I could have 
achieved so much more by this point in my marketing career if I would have focused um, and you know not chased every opportunity because I could have become super, super good at one thing and then pulled myself out of the, the equation, like he said, out of the process and, and have built a system that makes everything that I was doing done, you know, complete. It gets done without me doing it. And then I could have moved to the next opportunity and I would have had a much more successful business by this point had I done that. Um, and we all go through that. And that's, again, that's why we're, we, we really want to help other people to avoid that, uh, to where they can get their business is profitable and get more of their time back at the same time and, and with less trial and error. Does that make and if sense? If you uh, do that, you could apply the eagle method at a sooner place in your Ooh. business, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's an inside. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to, we're not, not, not going to. So Frankie, my, my final answer to you would be um, either way and e whether it's affiliate marketing that you want to do or local marketing, either way will generate your money. If you, you know, once you learn what it takes in that particular model, so just select one and stick with that one is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. I yeah. can't tell you which one's better than the other. I'm partial to local, but you know, affiliate marketing certainly works. So it's entirely up to you. Yeah. That's a, that's a good news. Like they both works. You want, you want to go with local, go with local, you want to go ranking YouTube videos. You can do that. As long as you keep on doing what you're doing, it will work, but you need to give it the time and the opportunity for it to work. So, and Greg said, what's up? And then after that, it said the, the mics are, are going crazy. So Greg just wanted to repeat Greg Draper, a uh, fantastic community manager of ours. If you're in the groups, you see him. Um, and, and we were super happy to have him at Pofu live. So yeah, you, for being there, man. Yeah. Was good yeah. meeting you. Yeah, and we had to reiterate that because Echo might've ruined it. So Greg, we apologize, man. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good attempt to, uh, to thank you. So, 